Folks, it's time for this week's installment of Instant Startup. This is the game we play where our listeners submit names of celebrities. We randomly draw two of those celebrities. We randomly draw a sector, and then we make a startup run by those celebrities in that sector. Janet, are you ready? I was born ready. Your founders are John Candy and Robin Williams, suggested by Lori, and their startup is in the cruise line sector. So Janet, the first question we ask is, who's the boss? And then we'll find a job for the other person. How do we decide this? Who's who's funnier? Who's more capable of guiding a cruise ship to its destination? Well, John Candy was in a film called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but there were no boats involved. John Candy was co-owner of the Toronto Argonauts? That's nautical. Oh my god. The Candy Man is really running away with this thing. Is there anything to recommend Robin Williams? Robin Williams played the amnesiac Peter Pan in Hook. There were boats in that. Yeah. Are you not convinced? I'm deeply concerned about cocaine use on the boat. Right. So what would Robin Williams' role be? We could take the easy way out and put him in charge of entertainment, and he would probably be in the lounge 24-7 doing racist jive voices and bouncing off the walls. Damn straight, baby. (laughs) Yeah, and you could also sell your cruise tickets for a million dollars each. I will say we're goofing on the guy. I did meet Robin Williams once and he was perfectly lovely and I'm sure he's a great guy. So this is all said from a place of love. You met Robin Williams? How did you meet Robin Williams? I was working at a uh, well-trafficked by celebrity bookstore on Bloor Street in Toronto. I was working in the section that sold CDs, LOL, I'm old. It was the time that Tom Waits' Blood Money and Alice had just come out, and he bought both of them. He did do a Tom Waits impression for one second for me. Oh my god! Janet, my self-indulgent story got us closer to an answer. Robin Williams is in the lounge all day, every day, singing the songs of Tom Waits. You know he would have to sing Prince Ali in a Tom Waits voice. Janet, you know that we now have to sing Prince (laughs) Ali in the Tom Waits voice. (laughs) Prince Ali. Go on. I'm done. (laughs) Prince Ali, mighty is he, Ali (laughs) Ababa. Strong as ten regular men, take it from me. He faced the galloping hordes. A hundred bad guys with swords. And so on. Who sent those goons (laughs) to their lords? Why Prince Ellie? You get the idea. All right. So, yes, obviously coked up Robin Williams 24-7, imitating Tom Waits, of course. And John Candy. I mean, we say he's the boss. I guess that also means in practice he's the captain. So who else in Robin Williams's and John Candy's networks could they tap to join them? John Candy's easy, the entire Second City crew. Um, Like, I could see Eugene Levy being um, a bellhop. Oh, that's very nice. What's the, um, give me a second. There's a word that I'm looking for that's on the tip of my head. The tip of your head. Is that It's the word word illiterate. (laughs) I said head just as I was thinking of the word that I was looking for. The word on the tip of my head was figurehead. Catherine O'Hara is the figurehead. Okay. Who does Robin Williams know that would be of use to us? Uh, He was friends with Superman, Christopher Reeves. Reeve? I think he knew Mrs. Doubtfire. You never saw them in the same room at the same time. Mrs. Doubtfire doing the daycare. I want Iago on this cruise ship. Would he sit in the crow's nest? Ah, land! (laughs) You try it. Let's hear your Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, no! Land how? The last thing we need is a brand name. So I think the name writes itself. It obviously should be planes, trains, and automobiles, and also boats. What do you think? I mean, thinking of Robin Williams... And Dead Poet Society, Oh Captain, My Captain, comes to mind. Maybe he recites that every time John Candy approaches the helm. (laughs) Everyone present has to stand on a table. John Candy in a smoking jacket, or let's face it, by day three, probably just a robe and a cigar, basks in their adulation. 
So planes, trains, and automobiles, and also boats. Thank you to Lori for the suggestion. Thanks, Lori. Ah, there's an iceberg. 